just pulling a beer when the sun's shining makes you even feel better about it. It does. I wonder if it makes me slightly biased with the score. I don't know. Let's grab her. Well, hello there, perfect drafters. How are we doing? I hope we're well. I do. I really do. I do. Sounds like I was going to go into Agadu. Aga I do, do, I do. Right. What have I got in? What have I got in the black belter of a machine this week? It's a lager. I've done many lagers before. And it's a Lisa. It's a Lisa lager. Happy days. Not had it yet, obviously, before. Not reviewed it. It's in there, waiting to be subbed. <sighs> and the sun's shining. The sky is blue. And it's happy days. Let's face it. That perfect draft comes into its own, is an absolute belter when this sun is shining. And I know this isn't about the Lisa, this one isn't, this comment now, but I think quite a few people are excited that this week, as I'm filming this, it hasn't quite been announced, although I have just seen a blurry picture from the mighty Conrad that very much looks like Pineapple Express from Tiny Rebel is coming to the perfect draft. Now, if we've got a summer of gloriousness, gloriousness just a, a, a good summer, and we're drinking some Pineapple Express, which, let's face it, is alcoholic lilt, that's not a bad thing. I think we're going to have a good one. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe a little bit of a tipsy one, because I think it is a 6.2 percenter. But anyway, if that's out, then hopefully I've got that keg. Hopefully it doesn't sell out in under three minutes and I don't get it, because I really do want that. I want to be trying it. I've got to admit, when I had club in the pub, out of a can, I was a little bit, that's a bit too sweet for me. But then when I got it on the perfect draft, and I think the sun did shine a little bit when I was trying it, I thought, yeah, this is pretty good. And I will be getting a keg of that through the summer as well. So if this Pineapple Express comes in, if it is that, I think I'm going to be happy with that. I do. Anyway, let's hope it is now, because if it's not, that's a good two minutes of a review that's not even about that. Wasted. But anyway. So yeah, this is the Lisa. That's what's in the machine. It's got 30 days on the clock. It's a full keg. It's ready to be sucked a little bit. Now, again, a little bit like the La Virgin Lager and also the, uh, the 360 La Virgin. It's one of those that you don't hear too much about. It's not like on the Spaten level of awareness or the Lowenbrow level of awareness. Never seen it in a pub. Never seen it. I can't for the life of me get a glass again on this one. I feel like I'm letting you down a tad with my lack of glassage recently. It's been poor. It's been poor. I think there's been at least three or four videos now where I have just let you down with the glass. But that's life. That's life. At least if I do get the Pineapple Express from Tiny Rebel, I've got two Tiny Rebel glasses. So that will be fine. So we are looking at a £31.90 keg. So not the most expensive, which is good. The brewery, Bira del Borgo, or something like that in Italy. So Italian lager. Is it going to be Peroni-esque? Is it? Is it one to be sucked with a Pizza Express pizza? Is it? It's 5%. So a touch, and only a touch, less than a spate, less than a low and brown. You're talking like you're 0 0.2, you're 0.1% less, so nothing much in it. It's basically stellar ABV, well, at least stellar on the perfect draft ABV. That's what we're going to be comparing it to, those little gems of lagers that we've had before, because let's face it, there are some good ones. But just before I say, let's crack into that keg, let's do the pour, and let's have a look at what it looks like. 
before I say that, there's some exciting news. So Big Bold Reviews is now the proud, very proud sponsor of the European Super Lads. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Have a look. Have a look on Instagram. Have a look at them. Follow them. They're a cracking five-a-side bunch of lads. They go out there, give it their all, and now they're doing it in Big Bold Reviews kit. Oh, yes, they are. So, well happy with that. In future videos, not just yet, but as you know, I'm trying to get that pub sorted in the garden. Hopefully, we'll do some live links with the lads. We will see how they're doing in their league. We'll follow them a little bit. Let's support them, yeah? Let's support them. Come on, chaps. Good luck in your next game, fellas. Good luck in your next game. Don't let the Big Bold Review's name get tarnished by a poor performance. Yeah, that's all I ask. It's not a lot. Just try hard, yeah? Here's a little pick of the team. Here's the boys. Here they are. There they are, right. Anyway, without further, let's not mess about. Let's have a look at the keg. Let's do the pour. Let's have a little sup. I'll tell you what I think. I'll have a little bit of snackage. And then we'll rate both of them. Beer and snack. Let's have a look. Right, so let's whip this open. Here we go. And there she is. Lisa. Lager Italiana. Seplicemente Atrante. Don't know what that means. No idea. Probably said it very badly. It's a 5%er, as we can see. There's the brewery. Bira del Borgo. Yeah. Said in the Leicestershire finest accent, Lisa. I like that. I like the little castle icon. I like the font. Good font. I quite like that glass. Shame we can't get hold of it. Anyway, let's give her a sub. So I don't know if this is uh, sacrilege or something. Or, you know, they wouldn't be happy with me being a rival Italian lager. But what I'm gonna do is stick it in a Peroni glass. Now, this ain't easy to pour in here. That's got situations written all over it. Little tip there, give it a look. Give it a look. See if it fits under there, because as you kind of, you know, that you're gonna knock the glass. So for this occasion, there we go. I'm gonna whip that off. Whip that off, worst things happen at sea. Here we go. Let's give her a pour in the Peroni. It's not Peroni, it's a Lisa. In with the tray, just in case, pop it in there, on she goes, just in case for a bit of outerage. <laughs> outerage. It's got a head, and it's got a head. No doubt about that. I might give it a little top up. I'll tell you what else it's got. It's got some bulbs. Let's bring her in. So there we go. Look at that. I've got a head on that. It's a bit of a heady one. But then it is the first time I'm cracking into it. So it's, it, it could have been worse. Look at those bulbs. It's lively. This prony glass ain't too bad, to be fair, for a bit of liveliness. It's all right. Um, quite light. Very light, in fact. Kind of like bud kind of lightness in colour, or even you could say it is Peroni-esque in terms of the colour. So, yeah, that's what we're looking like, peeps. Let's get stuck in for a sup. So there we go. I've got to admit, just pulling a beer when the sun's shining makes you even feel better about it. It does. I wonder if it makes me slightly biased with the score. I don't know. Let's grab her. <laughs> there we go. I did give her a little tip up. I did. But doesn't that look a little gem? Yes, it does. Lovely colour. Lovely head. Lovely bit of foam. Very white. Some slow moving bubs. Just firing up the glass. That. That. That's a lager. That's what that is. It's a Lisa lager. Let's get stuck in. Give her a taste. Cheers, perfect drafters. Let's give her a go.
basically easiness. Easiness of drinking springs straight to mind. That, that's a little gem. In the sun, that is going to be nice. It's very, I don't know if it's just the glass that's kind of swaying me, but it actually is Peroni-esque. I'm not even joking. It is. It is. Get me a pizza. Get on Deliveroo and get me a pizza because you don't have to be Deliveroo. Uber Eats. Uber Eats. We've actually got a Domino's opening up down the road. What's the best pizza place out of Domino's, Pizza Hut, Pizza Express and Papa John's? What do you reckon? What is the best pizza place? Because I have to say, I like the ambiance of a Pizza Express. If I'm feeling a bit fancy, a little bit cocky, got a little bit of cash to splash, I go for or Tesco vouchers, I go for a Pizza Express. If I want a dirty night in, it'll be a Domino's. But anyway, that... That's nice, it's crisp, very crisp, light, no bad aftertaste there. You know, there's no metallic kind of aftertaste that you get with some lagers, definitely your tenants in a can you get that. Um, and I think the last, what was it, the La Virgin, that had a little bit of a metallic taste there, but this doesn't. No, that's, that's easy drinking. That's nice, crisp, refreshing lager. Perfect for a hot summer's day. Nice session beer, you know. You can have a fair few of those out in the garden. And I think you'd be happy. Just happy with that. Not going to offend anyone. I've said that about quite a few. Not going to offend anyone. Not going to blow you away again. You know, but... Not going to offend you. Yeah, that's it, really. That's it. Where would I place it? <sighs> Let me have a little bit of snackage first and contemplate that in the background of my mind. And then I'll come back and say where I place that amongst the likes of a Spaten, the likes of a Low and Brow, the likes of a Jupiler, of a Hertog. There's some belters. There are some belters. So where do you come amongst them? Let's get a bit of snackage first. Okay, I'm feeling peckish. So what I'm gonna do is crack into a big old bag of... Big old bag of the Snaffling Pig Company. It's only a snaffle pack, a little snaffler. Little sniffle, snaffle, snoo. Pork crackling, perfectly salted. So, snaffling pig are good. They are good. The quality bits of pork scratching, or pork crackling in this case. Do like a bit of pork crackling. They kind of compare for me with the posh pig. They're also very good. Any blurb? No blurb. Couldn't fit it on with this pack. Not really. But you can follow them. You can. You can go to the website, snafflingpig.co.uk. Look on Instagram, Snaffling Pig Co. Tweet them, Snaffling Pig Co. Facebook, Snaffling Pig Company. Obviously, Snaffling Pig Co. has been nabbed by someone else on Facebook. But anyway, let's have a go. Actually, I think it's because there's no character limit. Right, light coloured pork scratchings. I've cracked open that bag very quickly. There we go, pork scratching number one. Let's go. Yeah. Good crunch, good munch. Not bad at all. Um, not too salty. Enough of a drying effect for beer snackage. 
very good. Someone did say to me, and I don't know if you've seen it, have a look if you haven't, but quite a while ago, I ventured outside, I did a video where I lined up all the kegs that I'd had and put them in order of what I thought was like best to worst. Now, obviously, I've not kept for the great good of Beer Hawk. I'm quite good at returning the kegs now, so I don't store them all. I won't be able to line them all up again, but I should rank them in some way. I'll probably have to print them off or something and get little little cards, but that that kind of thing. But someone said you should do that again, rank them from best to worst with the amount that you've had now, because I've probably had double the amount of what I had back then. And then also say what snackage complements each keg. Whew. I mean, a hell of a job, but it would be a hell of a video. I might just do it. So if you want me to do that, let me know. I think it would be good. I do like a bit of beer snackage. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? That, that's good. Let's give it a little crunch. Let's give it a munch and let's give it a sip and then I'll give it a grading. There's a good consistency in between each pork crackling. And I didn't even shake the bag. Should have shut the bag. So throw a bag gone. So that was a belter. I don't know if saltiness goes the best with lager, got to be honest, in that sense. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I think I think I could get better snackage with a lager. I think I prefer, like, chilli nuts. Definitely prefer chilli nuts. I prefer crisps. Prefer crisps with a lager. Yeah, chilli nuts or crisps with a lager, please. Salted, I think more of a salted flavour like them, your pork scratchings, would go better with a with a with a left. Probably your left brun. Yeah. I think that would go well with that. Whereas I've got a or a left amber. I don't know yet with that, but I have got the keg of that chilling in the fridge, along with the triple camulet. There to come. But yeah, with this I think I'd have a Max Strong jalapeno and cheddar or a Pizza Express. But that, good. It's good. Where would I rank it amongst the other lagers? That's the big question. That's the one to answer. Now then, I don't think it beats a spate. I always like to refer it to a spate because I know that I gave that an eight. That's how I always remember it. It's one of my benchmark lagers. So it's not up there with a spate. I don't think, but now then, what did I give the La Virgin Lager? Because do I like it? To, I think it's very similar to that in terms of rankage. A little bit different tasting. Tastes a little bit lighter, probably a bit crisper. And I think I gave that a 7 or a 7.5. I'm going to give this a 7. I think it's very similar to a low and brow in terms of its scoring. Um, the best flavour I can compare it to is definitely a Peroni. And that's just the way it is. I don't think it's just the glass that's telling me to do that. Um, I wouldn't buy it over a Hertog. And I wouldn't buy it over a Jupiler. I probably won't buy it again, but it's still good. It's still good. Some of those others are a bit more distinctive tasting for lagers. And if you've got a general kind of populace that goes out to pubs and drinks, your Carlings, your Fosters, then they're going to like this. It's not going to offend them. It's not going to offend you. So no offence. Good. Seven. That's what I'm giving it, seven. Those port scratchings, them little belters, I'm gonna give the same. Um, yeah, seven as well. Yeah, I probably won't buy them again. 
no one to blow me away. Yeah, they are what they are. They're perfectly salted pork crackling. The good quality pork crackling, mind, you know. So worth a blast. Not bad, these snaffle packs. You can get a mixed bag of them. Yeah. So there we go. Average kind of scorage today, but still, happy days. Right. So if you enjoyed that video, give it a like. Make sure you've subscribed, because if you haven't by now, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, come on, subscribe. And check out the Big Bold Reviews website on www.bigboldreviews.co.uk. That's what you've got to do. But beyond all of that, hopefully the sun is still shining. Hopefully the sky is blue, and it's going to be a belter of a weekend. And if it is, draw yourself a nice beer. Be that whatever can be whatever you like, but enjoy it. Enjoy it with your mates. Have a cracking weekend. Cheers, perfect drafters. Cheers.